Who gets ejected first? Ollie. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. Let's see what happens, though, in this at bat. Let's see what happens in this at bat. Maybe C.B. Buckner misses a couple more pitches because that's what he's been doing all game, all career, and the announcers know it so bad they're making bets on which manager is going to get ejected first. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Let's watch what happens outside. Sure, one and one count for Merrill Kelly. That one's low, two and one. That one's low. No, that's a strike. Batters like this, umpire looks at the manager like, got something to say about that one? Ollie's like, no, but yes, that one is a ball. Pitcher and catcher are like, what? He's like, got something to say about that one? And Marmal's like, no, but Tori Lavella's like, I-, I think I do. I think I'm mad at you here. And, and now you understand what the broadcasters are saying when they're saying which one's going to get ejected first. Because he's just missing calls wildly on both sides. And that's ball four. So we got a leadoff walk, and Kelly, the pitcher, is like, we shouldn't have a leadoff walk. This stinks. All right, CB looking at St. Louis bench, and Tori Lavelle is like, I got a problem with you. Look at me. Look at me. Why are you picking it with him? I'm mad at you. That's outside. That one breaks away. That's outside. 2-0 and is the count. The next pitch, that's up. It's a good pitch, but it's up. So 3-0. There you go. You got a strike. And then outside. They wanted that call. Maybe it's outside. Ball two. And Tori Lavello is like, quit picking a fight with him. I'm trying to pick a fight with you because it's back-to-back walks. And now Goldie's up MVP. Oh, okay. Goldie's out. But Arenado's up. That pitch is a ball inside. Strike. What? Arenado with a double take. Just a fabulous double take. Hey, you're gone. Fucking out. Leave. Marmal's going to come get his money's worth. He's going to say, you've been fucking horse shit the whole game. CB's just going to stand there, smirk, wipe the sweat off, let him get, let him yell at him a little bit. He says, oh, for three, the whole game. Been horrible. We got a fucking database on you. We don't know what you're doing. Those guys over there, they don't know what the fuck you're doing That's either. That's why you're not in the game anymore. You need to just get the fuck as out of the as, game. Just as you know much why? as you. You know why? Just as your much time as you. Because your time is done. Your time, your time is fucking your time done. Was done at you 22. need to go home and fucking You just retire. fucking got here. Cause you're horse shit. You just fucking got here. I don't ever want to see your face again. You just got here. It's time for you to fucking go. You just go. got here. Your time is up. You think you're somebody? You just got here. You just got here. You just got here. You just got here. Kids waving goodbye in the back. He's got here. Marmal walks off. CB gets his pad out, his pen out. Marmal goes to the clubhouse. He says, okay, hmm, what just happened? What was it again? Um, oh, yeah, I missed some calls. Then we debated over who is more involved in the game, umpires or managers. And here's the pitch a second time with the announcers and their reaction to an Arenado's double take. <laughs> So you got one broadcast taking bets on which manager is going to get ejected first because the umping's been so bad. And then you got another broadcast just straight up laughing at the pitch and Arenado's reaction to the bad call. And you got this breakdown being brought to you by DraftKings. And thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdown. That was a fun one. You don't usually see an umpire go right back at a player. Also pretty sad, pretty sad. Neither players and just arguing about like, who is part of the game of baseball more? 